Hi guys. So today I thought we'd take apart a Sega Game Gear cartridge. This is a cartridge that I've probably only played once. Got it with a whole bunch of others off of eBay. And I really don't care about it. So let's just open it up. This is... Fortunately these are the horrible game, game bits. Which is super annoying. I also don't expect this to be very different from a Game Boy cartridge, so it's probably just um, probably just got one chip in it for for the ROM for all the game data, and maybe decoupling capacitor. Don't know. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Sega branded chip. Nothing on the back. If we have a look where, if we try and trace these out, that goes through to there, and then goes up to the chip, that may be uh, higher address lines. This could actually be responsible for bank switching, maybe. Let's see, where does that come from? That comes from one of these pins. So this this may be for bank switching, not quite sure. So for, yeah, I reckon it might be. So the idea with bank switching is that the Game Gear cartridge slot would only have a certain amount of address lines, so it would only be able to address so much data from a particular device. I'm not quite sure, I have to have a look up how many address lines the Game Gear could address. So anyway, if you wanted to store more than what you could even address on a particular chip, you could then slice up this chip into particular into quarters or halves, and then you could address, you could, uh, maybe you could strobe a particular address pin, and then this would flick over to the other bank and effectively uh, put half of this chip on the address line then, so then you'd strobe it back to the other bank, it would take the other bank and put it onto the address lines instead. So you could switch back and forth, as almost as though you're literally taking out the cartridge and sticking another one in, but digitally. So yeah, that's what's inside a Sega Game Gear cartridge. Actually, I might just add to that, the uh... The reason why the case was hard to come off at the beginning was because it actually has these little clips on the top here which would then clip into the top so yeah 